hi guys welcome back to my channel um my name is ella for those who are new and my channel is all about cash stuffing budgeting all of that so if that is something that you enjoy make sure to subscribe um today i'm going to be doing my cash stuffing number one for december and we are going to be stuffing 590 pounds what i've done is split my sinking funds in two um but my cash envelopes will be stuffed weekly in my weekly check-in so make sure to check those out throughout the month if you want to see me cashing some more stuff cashing some more stuff <laughs> stuffing some more cash and doing my saving challenge so get started so let's count the cash first and lay that out Cool, so it should be £590. So 20, 40, 60, 81. Sorry, I've just looked. It should be £560. 560. So 20, 40, 60, 81. 120, 40, 60, 82, 220, 230, 240, 250, 260, 270, 280, 300, through 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 400, 410, 420, 430, 440, 450, 460, 470, 480, 490, 500, 510, 520, 530, 540, 550, 560. Perfect. So let's get this mess set up. So yeah, um, and then hopefully I'll also have an extra side income stuffing um, towards the end of the month. But yeah, we will see. Hopefully, I will. So, I still have not been able to find a cash tray. Literally, I always look. I guess the issue is, like, I only ever have three notes. So, I don't want to get one of those, like... You know the ones that have, like, six compartments? Like, that. And I'm like, I don't need six. Um, and they're always really tall. So, yeah, I'm struggling, but... Cool, I hope that's okay. It's just so you can see the money a little bit better. So, yes. <laughs> I'm like, where do I start? Let's start with my cash envelopes. So, as you will see, these dodgy looking things that I made ages ago like this was before my youtube channel i made my own cash envelopes um yeah they didn't go that well i don't know what these air bubbles are all about but i stuck some dried flowers in the laminating sheet um yeah that's why i bought these but you know i wanted to just reuse these because i've already made them so yeah but let's start with the usual which is spending and that is going to be getting 25 pounds so spending petrol basically all these color envelopes from that are from budget with ira so spending eating out petrol miscellaneous are getting stuffed weekly and that will be in my weekly check-ins if it's not a cash stuff in um but with my car wash and postage i'm just going to be putting that once for the whole month I hope that makes sense. Um, okay, so spending is getting 25, so that is 10, 15, 20, 5. So 10, 15, 20, 25 into spending. So, yeah, the reason I've done it like this is so that if I do have any leftover in petrol spending, eating out, miscellaneous, um, I will be unstuffing that into my 
30 envelope challenge um so my logic is that that might mean i'm able to save more maybe not but you know sometimes i really don't spend a lot but then other weeks because i have it in my envelope i'll spend like 50 pounds in one week i hope that makes sense i really don't know but anyway 25 pounds into spending petrol is getting 40 pounds 20 40 if you fill that up today um because i've got the day off work gonna go to the gym i got some orders to do post office run so i'll probably fill up my car so yeah 40 pounds into petrol eating out is getting 20 pounds which is two tens 10, 20. Um, car, which is car wash, is getting £15. And, oops, this will cover me for two car washes, I think. Yeah, two car washes. So, once a fortnight. It looks all right to be honest it's not too bad um this one that doesn't have anything on is my postage so this is all my postage shipping expenses for my business because last month i was using my spending money because i didn't have a category and yeah it's not you know spending money it's postage so it's got its de designated envelope so 10 20 30 and that should cover me, hopefully. If not, I can always use miscellaneous or if the time comes to use my side income for that. Oh, look at that dodgy cut in by me. So, yeah, that's postage. Miscellaneous is just getting a five this week. So, that is my cash envelopes all done. And they will be going into my wallet. So next up we have my daisy binder. Which is a bit of a less priority than the other binder. So beauty is going to be getting £15. Um, I'm wanting to start to bulk this up. Because when I go away in March. I kind of want to get my hair, eyelashes and nails done for it why not go all out do you know what i mean treat myself i used to get my eyelashes done all the time i used to get hybrids but it is really ex i love it but it's so expensive um so i kind of decided ellie you don't need it all the time but i think for a holiday definitely worth it so beauty now has 10 25 so yeah that will be getting i think 35 for the month but Going forward, I will put quite a bit more so that I can get all those treatments done before each of my travels. Um, health is getting £5. Ah. So that now has £10. This is just for prescriptions, paracetamols, um, anything like from the pharmacy, really. Shopping is getting 20 pounds in two tens so 10 20 actually black friday um as i'm filming this because it's just like to work out that i'm filming it today it's black friday at the weekend i don't really know what i'm gonna get i am thinking i really want some cute gym wear but i can't find any um and then some stuff on boohoo but I don't know, I feel like, do I really need it? I did go to New Look the other day because I had um, some money off and then I spent some money in there, some new jeans um, and a coat. And then where else did I spend money? Oh yeah, in boots, but that was beauty. Yeah, I haven't really spent a lot from shopping. Oh, and in the style. Um, but one of those things actually didn't fit me. So I'm giving it to my sister for Christmas. <laughs> I've already asked. I was like, oh, do you just want these for Christmas? She said, yeah, okay. Because they're, re they're really nice chocolate brown joggers. Um, and then when I went to go order a smaller size, 
they were out of stock i was really annoyed but anyway enough rambling shopping has 20 40 60 80 90 100 pounds which is fab fun is also getting 20 pounds that's two tens again so fun now has 20 40 50 60 so 60 pounds of fun i'm going out of the weekend um but i'm going to try not spend so much but once i have a drink i i don't know my limit <laughs> Aussie and Oreo are getting £5, so £10 in Aussie and Oreo, I bought them some, a big bag of pellets last month, they're my guinea pigs by the way, um, a big bag of pellets last month, so I don't think I'm going to need to use that, Gifts is also getting £5, so that is 20 30 35 40 40 pounds into gifts. Dentist, he is getting 15, so 10 and a five. So 10, 20, 25, 30, 30 pounds. Um, yeah, so I have an appointment in February with the dentist, which is 65 and Oh, the temptation to get my teeth whitened before my trip is real. But it's £450 and I know I can't really afford it. But it's just so tempting. Um, but I, I really need to stick my ground with that. Phone is getting £15. So that now has 15. That's paying off the device. Um, watch my, oh, wrong way. Bill exchange, um, cash on stuffing, sinking funds update to know where that 100 pounds went because it's no longer in the phone. Pilates is getting five pounds and this is for the annual subscription. And then back to bank, so we need to go to the bank. So that is my, oops, Daisy Binder all done. And then moving on to this binder. I'm gonna skip um, house deposit for now and travel just because need to work out what um, I have left over. I know they're each getting a hundred pounds, but as in, what's the word? Demo, demo, blah, blah. I know it begins with a D. D. Denonym, denonym, blah, blah. If you guys haven't guessed, like I am actually slightly dyslexic. So I know like quite a lot of words and I, they just don't come out right. Um, <laughs> so yeah, to, to monet, I'm not even going to try it. You know what I mean, I think. I just don't know exactly how many 10s or 20s it's going to be in each. So, emergency fund is getting £15. Oops. £20, £40, £50, £60, £55, which I'm actually very happy with. Does anyone else just envision all my money burning? Like, hmm? <laughs> oh my. Um, debt is getting £10. It's finally getting stuffed. Not a lot, but it all adds up. So £10 into debt. Car insurance is getting £60. I am waiting for my placeholders to arrive so excuse the little mental note um 60 pounds right 20 40 60 so we now have in car insurance so 500 520 40 60 80 90 
So five ninety. Yeah, five ninety in car insurance, which is fab. Car tax is getting twenty pounds. For some reason, I did that in these two tens. Uh, car tax now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 120, 130, 140, 150. That's fab. That means I have only £100 left up until the 1st of February when it is due. So, yeah, that is great. Car payment, which is I hope to pay off my car my car you know to own my car car finance car loan whatever you want to call it early um but because of change of plans next year this is a bit on the back burner but i'm going to slowly stuff it and then when i give myself a target date i will then go through with you guys my plan of action to pay my car off um this is getting 15 pounds which is the last five, but that is correct. So £15 into car payment. Car maintenance isn't getting anything and neither is Christmas. And then if we go back to this, um, house deposit is getting £100 and that is... <clears throat> Sorry, guys. That is 20, 40, 60, 81. So in house deposit, which will be deposited into my lifetime ISA when it hits 500, is now at 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 320, 40, 60, 84, 420. 440, 460, 470. 470. Okay, more than I was actually anticipating. So I guess by next stuffing, I will need to be doing a, a placeholder in that, if that makes sense. Travel should also be getting £100. Um, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Perfect. And how much? Have we now got in here? So this is travel. So this is for my tour, like um, tour group, activities, accommodation, all of that in one. Um, flights and spending. So long way to go. But 20, 40, 60, 81. 120, 40, 60, 82. 220, 240, 260, 280. 300, 320, 340, 360, 380, 400, 420, 40, 60, 80, 500, 500, oh, so I should really deposit that. Oh, but I do need to take 200 pounds out of it anyway to put on my credit card because I paid a deposit. So anyway, 500, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So 590 in travel. So like I said, I would deposit that at 500, but I know that I need to take 200 out anyway to pay back my credit card. So yeah. Cool. So that is my stuff in all done i hope um you guys enjoyed i hope it was a good video i'm actually yeah new month new goals um yeah i'm just excited that it is now a new month and i'm really looking forward to my future plans next year of traveling like i said i will go more in depth of my financial goals in in a video soon um but yeah that does mean like there's going to be a few changes with my savings challenges because i don't want to put too much pressure on myself to do them but then 
not be able to save for like um, my holidays and things like that. But yeah, anyway, without further ado, I feel like oh, this video is very long. <laughs> um, but I will stop going on and I hope you have an amazing day or night whenever you're watching this. Um, and a, an amazing week or weekend. Anything applies. <laughs> but yeah, I will see you next time. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Oops. And I will see you next time.